Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to share with you some of the things that you might want to consider before you marry a Filipina. When you marry a Filipina, there's going to be cultural differences. That's to be expected. And some of these differences will actually strengthen your relationship. But some of these differences might cause some issues and problems within the relationship. So it's good to know what they are. And at the end of the day, it's all about how you approach and how you handle those differences. Let me give you an example. In my previous video, I mentioned that Filipinos are very family oriented. In the Philippines, it's all about togetherness. You know, Filipinos like, like to be close to each other physically. They want to live in close proximity with families. And families are always welcome in each other's household. So there's really no need for an invitation for a family member to come over. They will always be welcome if they come. It doesn't matter what time of, you know, the day. Most of the time during the day, you know, a family or even neighbors and friends are always welcome to come. Filipinos are very hospitable and we actually like spending time with family and friends. Here in the U.S., there's a little bit of a difference. Americans also love their families. They also love spending time with families. But Americans also put a lot of importance on privacy. It's all about privacy, respecting someone's space, and respecting someone's time. It's not very common here to just show up in someone's house without an invitation, even if that's your parents or a friend or a brother or sister. You always have to give a heads up. Americans are hospitable, but a little bit different. When you come visit, they want to be, to be ready. They want to know how long you're going to stay, what would you like to eat? They want to make sure you're entertained. So their type of hospitality is a little bit different from how Filipinos show their hospitality. In the Philippines, when you come visit, a lot of times, you know, you always bring something like a pasalubong, you know. You know that they're probably not ready for you, you know, you just show up. So you usually bring some snack or something like that. Here in the U.S., Americans want to make sure that when you come visit, that they're prepared, that they've cleaned the house, they have food for you, they're going to be, you're going to be entertained, and they just want a heads up. It's not like they don't want family members to be around, they just want a little bit more respect when it comes to space and um, their time. Because Americans also, most households here, everybody goes to work. In the Philippines, it's a little bit of a different dynamic when it comes to families. A lot of times, you always have a family member staying in the home. So the home is always open and welcome. But here, a lot of times, there's nobody left at home. So it's always good to give a heads up. So those are very minor difference, but it's good to discuss them. And, you know, if you come across that kind of situation, especially if you decide to move to the Philippines, you're going to live there. And um, you have to talk to your Filipina. Tell her that, you know, if, if you're okay with this, if you are a very extroverted type of person, then that's not going to be a problem. But if you're introverted, you're, you know, you like your space, you have to discuss that with her ahead of time. So everybody can make adjustments. At the end of the day, it's all about compromise. And when you have a good compromise right in the middle, this culture together is actually very good. You know, it's always good to be close to family, but it's also very important to respect you know each other's privacy it doesn't matter how close of a family you are there always has to be some type of boundary so it's good to discuss those things so that's just a very minor example of the cultural differences there are many more but i don't want to make this video too long or maybe we could talk about that in a separate video another thing that you might want to consider before you marry a filipina is your financial situation and this is a big thing um, when you marry someone coming from a different country, um, I'm not sure if, you know, most people probably don't know, but it's going to cost you a lot of money. You know, the moment you start that immigration process, every single form that you file will cost you money. You know, bringing someone here to the U.S. will cost you money. Even if you decide to settle in her country, you're still going to have to have some type of, you know, income to where that to where it's going to be able to support you both so if you're broke let's just be honest if you're broke and you're struggling financially it's going to be difficult to marry someone um especially when you're if you're bringing them here because the process is tedious the plot the process is long 
and the process can be very expensive. So that's something to consider. Make sure you, that you sit down, look into your finance, finances, make sure you're ready <laughs> for the expense. And, you know, depending on your Filipinas economic status, you know, you can always, you know, share that, you know, the expense. But most likely, since you're the one that probably is more financially stable, you're going to have to be the one to carry that, you know, that expense. So you have to really look into your finances, sit down, make sure you're ready. So those are two of the things that I can think of right now. I can share more maybe in the next video. I hope you guys enjoy watching this. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.